Hello and we're back with another five pilots that didn't quite make it to a full series. Number one, Mr. Boogaday, a family short film from 1986 directed by Oz Scott and written by Michael Janova. Originally served as a television pilot before being actually broadcast as an episode of the Disney Sunday movie. A sequel titled Bride of Boogaday followed in 1987. The narrative revolves around the Davis family's relocation to Lucifer Falls in New England, a town haunted by colonial-era ghosts. The film is now accessible for streaming on Disney as it happens. And the story unfolds as the Davis family, Carlton, Eloise and their children Jennifer, Corwin and R.E. move to a seemingly charming house in... Yes, Lucifer Falls. I wouldn't have moved there. However, their excitement turns to fear as they encounter an old man, Neil Witherspoon, who warns them about the haunting history of the house and the mysterious boogity man. Strange occurrences unfold as family members explore the new home, including eerie sounds, mysterious lights, and the sudden disappearance of belongings. Tonight on the Disney Sunday movie, the Davises are moving into a new house. Definite fixer-upper. Where the tenants are deceased... <laughs> but not departed. This house is not haunted. Keep an eye out for the boogity man. What boogity man? Boogity boogity. Now it's every man, woman, and child for himself. I saw him. What a weirdo. Dad's going to negotiate with Mr. Hamburg. K-9000, it's a 1991 American science fiction crime action television film. It features an ensemble cast including Chris Mulkey, Catherine Oxenberg, Dennis Haysbert and Judson Scott. It served as the second instalment of the K-9 film series and this production was conceived as a pilot episode for a TV series that itself would have served as a spin-off from the K-9 film. It was directed by Kim Manners and written by Michael Pert and Stephen E. D'Souza and it unfolds a plot centred around Dr. Aja Turner, a brilliant female scientist who implants a computer into a German shepherd's brain with the aim of enhancing its ability to track and apprehend criminals. However, a group of criminals led by Anton Zeiss seizes the cybernetic canine. Dr. Turner collaborates with Eddie Monroe, a rugged policeman implanted with a microchip that enables him to communicate with the technologically augmented dog. Meet Eddie. He's a dedicated cop. Excuse me. A human heat-seeking lethal weapon. $280,000. That's how much they stole? That's how much you destroyed. So the department's assigned him the perfect partner. Niner. His super canine instincts, the product of secret experiment K-9000. Imagine it. Man and dog working together. The potential was incredible. Now the secret is out and they'll fight with their lives to defend it this dog has a computer implant in its brain that makes it probably the smartest thing walking around on four or two legs size is big are you sure absolutely Cover Girls, a 1977 American made-for-television crime drama film directed by Jerry London, and it features a cast led by Cornelia Sharp, Jane Kennedy and Don Galloway. The plot revolves around two accomplished models, Linda and Monique, who also serve as operatives for an American intelligence agency. Tasked with a mission to apprehend an embezzler, their pursuit becomes intertwined with the efforts of a criminal named Michael. As the story unfolds, Linda finds herself romantically entangled with the embezzler, adding a layer of complexity. Against the backdrop of the glamorous world of modelling, Cover Girls blends crime drama with elements of romance and espionage. All units, move it. He's going after Russell. Brander next. Russell Bradner. Well, I just remembered it. In the middle of a session, you have an errand to run? Sorry, Ziggy. You're sorry. I'm losing the light already, and you're sorry? It can't be helped. It can't be helped. I'm losing my film, my model, my mind, and it can't be helped. Could you be interested in a career as a high fashion model? Ordinarily, I only see people by appointment. I understand that. But your secretary was very hard to reach. Throw down your weapon. Get out! Tag Team, a 
Team, a television show starring wrestling legends Rowdy Roddy Piper and Jesse the Body Ventura as Tricky Rick McDonald and Billy the Body Youngblood, respectively, in a story that mirrored their real-life wrestling careers. The storyline unfolds as the characters, successful wrestlers, are compelled to deliberately lose matches under the directive of their promoter's wife. Refusing to comply leads to their banishment from wrestling, prompting the duo to explore unconventional job opportunities. The narrative takes an unexpected turn as they decide to become police officers following their intervention in a grocery store robbery. Despite the initial promise of its premise, Tag Team did not progress beyond its pilot episode. Heat, Vision and Jack, a 1999 American comedy science fiction television pilot created and written by Rob Schrab and Dan Harmon, directed by Ben Stiller, and it features a stair-studded cast including Jack Black, Owen Wilson and Ron Silver. Despite being initially ordered by Fox, the show did not progress beyond the pilot stage. However, this singular episode garnered a cult following and achieved the status of a cult classic online. The plot of Heat Vision and Jack unfolds as the pilot begins with Ben Stiller discussing the cancelled Ben Stiller show, his Emmy Award win for the show, and a sarcastic critique of George Lucas's lack of an Emmy. Following this introduction, we get the title sequence which reveals how Jack acquires new powers and the origin of Heat Vision. Yeah! German Shepherd. Breed perfected in 1900. Distinguishing trait. Obedience. Oh, you are so bad. Tell me another. <laughs> okay, okay. One more. Gary! What's wrong? He escaped. If I had known then what I know now, I would have called a cab. I'll teach you inferior females to reject Paragon. Although the show did fail ultimately, it's got a dedicated online fan base which appreciates its unique blend of comedy and science fiction. And there you have it, there's another five pilots that didn't quite make it to be full series. Did I miss any out? Thank you to The Mad Maple for suggesting Tag Team. That was a really good one, I didn't know about that. If you know of any more, let me know in the comments below, please. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And all that good YouTube stuff. Bye for now.